Hello, I'm Tom Lodziak. In this video, we're going to look at a bad, bad, bad bull watching habit and how we can stop doing it. So, this is what I sometimes see when I'm coaching or when I'm playing or when I do it myself as well sometimes. Player hits a wonderful shot, really good shot, and then they stop, they pause, and they watch their own wonderful shot. They watch the ball arc beautifully over the net, bounce on the other side of the table and kick off. And they keep watching it, but then the ball comes back and they've not recovered properly and they kind of mess up the next ball and lose the point. Ooh, not good. They've been too busy ball watching to recover properly. Now, I'm sure we're all guilty of this to some extent, but how do we stop doing it? When you play a shot in table tennis, you've hit the ball and the ball is moving over the net. You've got two options about what you do with your, with your eyes. You could keep looking at the ball or you could start looking towards your opponent, which is the better option. Now for me, I find it much, much more useful to start looking at my opponent. If I start looking at my opponent, I see the shape of their body, so I can then start to see what shot it is they're going to play, plus I get to see where their bat is pointing towards, so I start to see where the next ball is going to go to. Now, if all I'm doing is looking at the ball the whole time, I'm going to miss these vital clues. I'll you know, still be able to keep playing, but I'm going to be reacting slower to what my opponent's doing. Whereas if I look at my opponent, it gives me the maximum amount of time to be able to react to what my opponent is doing so that I can move into position and then play another shot. To demonstrate this, I'm going to show you a little exercise I use with some of the players I coach involving my water bottle. And this is how it works. I put the water bottle on the table, I feed the balls to the player I'm coaching, and I tell them, hit the bottle with all your shots, see if you can hit the bottle. And what do they do? Typically, they watch to see if their ball hits the bottle. And that actually makes the exercise really hard to do. So here's a clip of this in action. Now I'm feeding the balls to my teammate Daniel and I've told him to see how often he can hit the bottle. So he's really watching the balls, watching the bottle to see if his balls hit the bottle. He's ball watching, which means he's not watching me. He's not watching the feeder. So he's not seeing very well where the next ball is going to. He's reacting very late and that's putting him off balance. That means his recovery is not very good and he's always kind of chasing the next ball. And it's all down to him not seeing me feeding the ball, seeing where that next ball is going to. In this next clip, I've told Daniel to play his shot, but once he's played his shot, to bring his eyes back to me, back to the feeder, to see where the next ball is going to. Now, by bringing his eyes back to me, he's beginning to see the ball much earlier. He's seeing from the shape of my wrist, of my bat, where that next ball is going to. And because he's seeing the ball earlier, he's able to move into position quicker. Because he's able to move into position quicker, he's better balanced. Because he's better balanced, he's able to play better quality shots. He doesn't need to watch to see if his ball hits the bottle. He knows where the bottle is. So, by bringing his eyes back to me, he's able to play much better table tennis. So the next time you play, really make a conscious effort to watch your opponent a little bit more. No more ball watching, no more, ah, that was a good shot, ah, the ball's come back to me. No, we're not going to do that anymore. You're going to play your shot, bring your eyes back to your opponent, 
see what shot they're going to play, see where the ball's going to go to, react, play another shot, same process again, watch your opponent, see where the next ball's going to, react, play, and so on and so on. And you're going to find you have more time, you react quicker, you move better, you play better quality table tennis. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like my little ball watching tip here. Um, if you like this video, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've got lots more videos coming soon. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.